guys watching Geeks Assemble and today we're with another review of um, End of the Effing World. Yeah, we did series one, so check that out on the channel if you haven't already. But we're doing series two today. We're doing episode one to episode uh, four. Yeah, so let's get on to it. We start off our journey with uh, Alyssa and James. And, well, we don't really. Um, it's Bonnie we start off with, who is a new character we get introduced um, basically, we follow the first episode with that with her, and what we do with that is, um, basically, she is in prison, she's killed someone, and then we see the story, uh, her mom's treated her badly, it's been brought up in a worse way, and then you've also got, um, you also got her falling in love with the person Alyssa and James killed in the first series. And while she's in prison, she sees that and wants revenge. And that's where episode one leaves us off at, at Melissa's house. And then we start off with episode two. I really like that. It, we, we lose these characters. We lose Alyssa and James for the first story. And we focus on Bonnie introducing her, flooring her out and seeing she's had a rough life. She's been treated so badly and she just wants to be loved. And the first guy that actually gives her some love is is very much a dark, twisted man who has um, forced himself upon women and filmed it and took pictures and stuff like that. He's very dark and very toxic. And uh, she falls in love with him. And uh, she he, he's the only one that's helped her out through being in prison for so long so she could be with him finally. And, um, yeah, it causes problems later on when, obviously, Melissa and James kill kill him in series one because he tried to attack Melissa and stuff like that and James saved the day but to um Bonnie they're the bad guy episode two we start off with um Alyssa we start to see her journey and her progression of her actually moving house so when Bonnie arrives at that house in the cliffhanger it's not actually Alyssa's there her family have left and there's some random person going oh they don't live here anymore you know, uh, Alyssa and uh, her family move out. Um, the stepdad that's been abusing Alyssa has been kicked out. And the mom has took the twins and Alyssa and drove on to a family member's house or a friend or a relative of some kind. And they've lived there for a year. And the relative's like, oh, can't be asked for this anymore. But uh, Alyssa finds a boyfriend and um, gets married. And who's there? James. Oh, cliffhanger time for episode three um so each character gets we i like that we have eight stories but the first stories we have where these characters have been bonnie's been in prison episode two we find out Alyssa's moved episode three we find out about james so james has um he's was shot in the episode eight of the finale of series one and we see that progression of him recovering from that Getting out of juvenile jail sentence of some kind that because obviously he killed someone and stuff like that. Um, so him getting away, not getting away, but he he got out and then him recovering, learning how to walk with his dad. His dad and his connection was going so well, and then the dad and connection was going so well. He's going parent classes to be good for James, and James and his dad were so well, and then they went bowling, and then his dad. Uh, had a heart attack, you know, it, it, it was the, um, his dad died and James carried him in the, um, ashes and, um, can't go home, he can't face it, so he lives in his car and he drives to it, uh, he drives forward and sees this mail and gets a note, two bullets, Alyssa got one, didn't spell the name right, so Alyssa didn't care about it, James got a bullet, it motivated him, it was like, right, I'm gonna see Melissa, this is a new step, let's do it. He goes to see her and finds out Alyssa's moved. So he's on the hunt for Alyssa and so's the psychopath Bonnie after revenge to kill James and Alyssa. So Alyssa's got some troubles. And then we cut back to James spying on um, Alyssa because he feels like he should be her protector. Everyone else is gone. He needs to protect her. And then she finds him. And then, yeah, they kind Alyssa's going to get married and she does. She gets married and then episode four, round about that, she got married and then she goes off with James for a bit and then problems start to occur. The car get took off from 
they need to pay it back, they steal it, they steal their car back, and then they, oh, look, someone's putting their thumbs out, we need to, we need to stop for them, don't, please don't, because guess who they're stopping for? Bonnie. Bonnie's tried to stop for them, trying to ask for a lift, they take it, she's broke the car down, she's planning on killing them in the middle of nowhere. There happens to be a house nearby, she can't kill them yet, she's slowly picking out when she can kill them, just like James was in the beginning of series one. Very much parallels in a way between the Bonnie and James as well. Alyssa's is very weird and unusual as per usual, and but now she's married, she's in a wedding dress still. She's pushing the car to that house, and it turns to be, it turns to be a B&B, &B, a weird B&B &B guy. And then we cut off with episode four, uh, yeah, then four with um, the B&B &B guy trying to basically have sex with Bonnie, and Bonnie doesn't like it. She pulls the gun out, puts the gun to her side, the gun falls and shoots him in the head, and you're like, oh, and Bonnie's falling backwards, and there's an antler thing because the guy's obsessed with antlers antlers i can't say the name of them but stabs her she passes out and that's that and melissa and james are warming to each other with their relationship still so yeah that's the first half of series um two episode one to four you know we've got four stories left which i will be reviewing next week but i just want to say yeah you can kind of see melissa still has feelings for james james still has, definitely has feelings for melissa and Bonnie is coming closer to Psychopath. Will she kill him? Will she not? The similar paragraph to series one, but with tweaks and different character. Um, and we're in a different settings as well, which is interesting. And James has suffered a lot. He's lost his mom, and now he's lost his dad in series two. He's not going to try and lose Melissa. He's going to have to grab for her. He's the only person she lo he loves now. And um, Melissa's still got a mom and the twins and stuff like that, so she needs to protect her family as well seems as a psychopath on the loose. So yeah, there's a lot going on and revenge and stuff like that. Um, we have to find out what happens next in episode 5, 6, 7 and 8 next week. Join me for that and join me for me ranking the series out of 10. Because I always do that at the end of each series. But if you're not a fan of um, the end of the effing world, then I highly recommend you check out reviews like I did Lord of the Rings. Um, I do Doctor Who, Transformers. Merlin being human, Star Wars, Gotham, DC, Marvel, you name it, we do reviews for all sorts, even Rick and Morty. So this channel's for everyone. I'm getting there with all these different shows and movies to watch and review for you guys. So there's enough for everyone, so you might as well subscribe and join us on the journey. And it'd be amazing if you could, because we're trying to get the channel goal. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, get the little bell so you don't miss a video, and comment down below what you thought of the end of the effing world. Join me next week for the final time I will be talking about this show. Um, yeah, episode 5 to 8. See you guys very soon. Have a good day.